Hello and welcome to this new video here on the YouTube channel Spill Fleming and Fellowship. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is my Smaug video. <laughs> so um, it's been um, a long time coming. Uh, we've been halting this project for what seems to be forever. Um, originally I was supposed to paint Smaug before Christmas last year. But um, with the new books uh, and stuff like that, and the new miniatures, we needed some time. Uh, so we have uh, we have filmed uh, for the grand campaign, um, like other scenarios, stuff that happened during and after the the um, the events of the Hobbit, uh, and uh, to give us more time to bring in the new miniatures from Forge Old, like. Bard's children and uh, Braga and all the models we needed for the different scenarios. So when time came for me to paint Smaug, I scheduled him to be painted in like June, July, and we're at the currently in the third of July. Is that correct? Yeah. So um, the time came for me to paint Smaug, and uh, I was then approached by a lovely chap um, who asked me what I wanted to paint his Smaug as well. So, what is better than painting Smaug? Wrong side. There we go. I'm painting two Smaug. <laughs> so, um, during the next, uh, next couple, of, uh, couple of weeks, uh, I have my deadline until Articon. So, I will be bringing Smaug to Articon. Um, so, I have my deadline fixed. Um, I am in my studio, uh, or in our studio, that is. And I will be assembling, I will be painting, and I will be completing two Smaugs in one month. Beat that. Uh, and uh, I, will, I will film the entire process and um, try to do something cool and new with that. Maybe like a time lapse video. So uh, this is my journey with Smaug. Please enjoy. Alright, so here you can see the uh, start of the assembly. Uh, as always, I didn't want to bother you with uh, 22 plus hours or 40 hours of, of plain camera of me working on the Smaug and uh, painting. So I have uh, time lapsed it, lapsed it, so there's uh, about one frame every minute. And, uh, and yeah, so this is basically cleanup of the model. You can see part of both Smaugs um, in, the, uh, in the screen here. Uh, and sorry about the iPad, I had a timer on there and it keeps turning off and on again. Um, didn't, I forgot to um, take out the, uh, the screen uh, off function. Um, so it turns on and off again uh, at some points. So jumping a bit here, um, it's been about five hours now. And I've uh, cleaned most of the miniature now. Uh, what you can't see is there's a bucket down on the left-hand uh, side of the screen with soapy water, so I'm just submerging all the bits when I finish cleaning them with um, files and hobby knives. Just dump them into there, and then I yeah, there you can see the bucket. <laughs> so uh, everything is uh, is then uh, put into place. So this is now all the parts for one Smaug. Uh, it has been finished, um, cleaned. So what I now do is I, I do a bit of a more filing work uh, and uh, and do a bit of green stuff work on there just to clean up the model completely. So I I particularly enjoyed uh, building Smaug. Smaug was was an absolute pleasure to build. There was really not that much cleanup on there. Um, that we were expecting um, from this part model might be because it's it's basically a, a 3D render model and it's also uh, a forge old resin, so it doesn't have all the problems that fine cast has. So uh, here you can see we are about 11 hours into project now, uh, and we have um, we have um, most of the cleanup work is soon to be completed it's a bit of work left to do on on some of the parts uh and basically assembling them all together uh, and then green stuffing and filling the gaps uh, is the the remaining part so you can see here that i've assembled the the head 
um, to the body. And I will continue to assemble and uh, reassemble the parts until everything is complete. So it seems like I left the table here for a while. Thought I'd cut out most of that. Oh, there I'm back again. Right, so you can see the, the smaug, um, smaugs are starting to to be, be built. Um, I did leave the, uh, the uh, wings off uh, because I want to paint the project uh, properly so that everything is, is in its place. So there you have Smaug and his wings and his base. So here we are starting the priming. So I got my uh, airbrush out and uh, we are priming the model uh, with an airbrush. So this is just to get a tint of red underneath so I don't have to um, get all the uh, all the bits out to um, to then yeah basically to to give a red sheen throughout the entire model um, and then I'm now highlighting uh, starting with a face seems like the video has jumped a bit I'll have some lost footage somewhere but but yeah so uh, so yeah basically going through and um, just gently spraying highlights everywhere to give uh, to give Smaug what uh, what he needs to to get uh, the rest of the model does the same the rest of it um, it's such a big model that shadow actually lines um, lines it pretty well seems to be some uh, some clearing up bit yeah there we go back in painting so highlighting the uh, the wings the wings up uh, just again to give it a red sheen throughout the project uh, the wings will get brown at some point see I'm I'm doing down to brown again uh, in the crevices now Seem to have gone for a toilet break or something. There, I'm back in, yeah. So actually, might have worn out that airbrush <laughs> during this project. Uh, it is a cheap one. It is from eBay, uh, about about fifteen pounds, but it's a dual action one. It's pretty good, and uh, it is very very accurate. So this is me doing the um, doing the. Um, the belly, the belly skin will get its first first brush there. And in some stages I'm doing both smaugs, and in some other stages I'm doing just one. So um so then film everything on both of them, just bear in mind. So here we go at the base, um giving it a nice copper layer first. And then we're doing, where have I gone? <laughs> yeah, okay, back to the wings again. Um, might be a bit jumbled up these. So yeah, here we go with the uh, with the brown, brownish yellow, uh, and uh, highlighting up the uh, the texture of the wings. I'm doing the same. Uh, colors on the edges of the face as well to give it nice um, not the, the pink but the, the good stuff so yeah here we are we have done the uh, the base and we will now um, shade down uh, the some of the base parts around stuff basically to give it nice um, difference in in shade of gold so I've used, I think it's four or five different layers brushed in different directions to give it sparkling effect. It looks good. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a good base. Now I'm painting uh, all the details. So all the treasure chests and all the jars and everything uh, to, to get that painted separate. Uh, I didn't do this out of necessity. I did this out of the possibility to forget stuff because if it sh it's just all gold uh, i'll i'll be bound to forget something during the uh, 
during the painting process of the different stuff. It's nice to paint this quality of a base though. Uh, it is a really, really good looking base. Right, so we have come to the actual painting of the model. This is me shading the belly. So I'm um, using Agrax uh, to give it a nice shade. Now we're also doing, oh yeah, this is the most tedious part of the entire project was lining uh, all of the um, all of the wings and uh, all of the scales on the entire model with uh, with basically Bugman's glow. Real pain to do, but I think that took the better part of ten hours on both smokes to do. So you can see me doing it here. I think this is either the shades or the or the highlighting. Nah, this is me highlighting, definitely. <laughs> so that nearly took the life out of me uh, to do on both models. Really, really painful. But then again, it has to be done. Uh, looks so much better. But then again, I shade it down again so it doesn't look that striking. But I'm really, really happy with the result, though. Um, couldn't be more pleased. And you'll see that in, in a couple of minutes, the finished Smaug. Well, uh, I say finished, still have to be blended a bit with the wings, but I didn't want to, um, didn't want to, um, I did have some other project to be ready for Articon with. So uh, I wanted to, uh, to give that, um, to get this done basically. All right, so coming in at 23 and a half hours now, I think. So a lot of time has gone now between um, between what you saw now and what is finished, because I've, I've done numerous amounts of hours of work on Smaug that you didn't see on camera. Now I'm finishing the base uh, with loads of different uh, different metals, golds, browns on there as well for the um, for the base for the treasure chest and stuff like that. And there we go. So this is the finished smog. You can can see a bit of a crack at the wing there. And uh, that will be uh, will be rectified with a bit of green stuff and um, airbrush uh, to to blend it to the uh, to the rest of it. But I am absolutely stunned by by the work that's gone into this. Uh, I think the time uh, finish time was at forty four hours recorded time. There is more hours that has been done on project. But, but yeah, it's, it's the biggest model I've ever painted, I believe, um, for for myself, uh, and I did two at the same time. So <laughs> that's uh, that's it. I I think it looks beautiful. Um, not to toot my own horn, but the model itself is beautiful, and laser paint just makes it a bit better. I'm trying to pan now to give you a look of the, uh, the armor and blending effect, the, the scales on it, the blend on the wings. Fairly happy. I didn't didn't want to go for that swirly pattern on the wings, so you'll not see that on mine. You can also see the blended scales there. All the different blends on the scales with loads of washes and highlights, and also the the uh, the whites of the scales on the, his belly and the finished base as well. Base looks infinitely better in person. It has all these different uh, 
different layers of gold. And also the red shield looks a bit better off camera. And I'm fairly happy with the marble effect as well, to be honest. So yeah, this has been my uh, Smug project. Thank you so much for watching and uh, for the four weeks that's gone into this. Um, as always, guys, do check out the Patreon in the link below to support us in our work here at SCF HQ. And uh, as always, guys, I've been Andreas Norwegian Viking. Uh, please comment, like, share, and subscribe, and support your hobby.